Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. My beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot messages, Taurus. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Taurus, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. As well as if you enjoy this tarot reading, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. And before we get into this reading for you, Taurus, I want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe my tarot cards are here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life. So, all that being said, let's finally get into your reading for today. So, I pulled some cards, Taurus, just so I could get an idea of where it is you guys currently are at. You guys got the High Priestess card, Archangel Haniel, which would be number two. Uh, so write down the number two for numerology Taurus, as well as, you know, if you're open to working with Archangels, right? And I don't know what your practices are, so it's up to you, right? It's none of my business. I just let you know what your options are. High Priestess Haniel, or High Priestess Archangel Haniel is open to working with you. And then you have the Page of Air coming in, or the Page of Swords with the sun card archangel uriel number 19 equaling to one so write down the number one as well for numerology and then taurus you have the five of water or the five of cups in normal numerology so taurus i'm getting kind of like a situation of where your intuition was right about something your intuition was right about something and now because your intuition, like you had, um, let's say, like you had your mind on something and you before were at this place where um, you were just kind of like, it's almost like you're, and I, I wish I could remember your last week's reading. Give me one moment, Taurus. I'm like about to grab my notepad. Ugh. Ugh. So I want to like keep notes of things that's coming up. So... Uh, it feels like you had your mind on something, Taurus, and where you're just like, all right, like if this happens in this way, then I'm going to be handling it in X situation. If it happens in a different way, then I will be handling it in Y situation. And so it seems like some kind of situation came out now and it kind of is going to according your to your calculations, Taurus. So I enjoy that. How do these cards want to be put out? Let's do this right here. So we're going to start with your five of water Taurus or your five of cups. So with this card, I'll read it off to you. And this card says things not turning out the way that you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation and crying over spilled milk. Now I'm going to be pulling some extra cards on this, obviously, but this is the situation that kind of the ball that was dropped, right? Something happened and now it's almost like giving you permission or Taurus, you're kind of seeing this as the sign of being like, all right, this is where I need to start taking action in some way, all right? So let's see, let's see if we can get in a little bit more detail. So we have for you the Knight of Swords coming in with the Two of Cups, as well as the Three of Wands coming in for you, Taurus. So yeah, whatever the situation was, you see, the weird thing is I'm not really getting quite a idea on like, if this is necessarily like a good or bad thing Taurus that's happened or how you're perceiving it as, because in one sense, Taurus, you're waiting for it to happen because I can't help but feel like it's releasing you. This close personal situation here with this two cups signifies to me, like it had either like a close hold on you or something that was like really close that almost like, you, it needed to be addressed, right? You really couldn't do your next move without knowing what was going to happen next or how things were going to pan out in a certain way, Taurus. And so once you got that sign as the Three of Wands, that's when you started going forward with the Knight of Swords. Um, and more so, I kind of see this in like a mental way. I feel like a lot of this, this is not really honing in on any type of physical 
um, obstacle necessarily, but more so just like this sense of like, now you're putting things in perspective. You're seeing things for how they are, um, the veil is being lifted on a certain situation. And then now that you're aware of it, you're just like, all right, now you continue going, right? Because then we go into your high priestess card. Now this card says, listening to your intuition, having patience, and consider carefully what you want before acting. So with this card, Taurus, this is where it's like you already had your mind on this. So this is very, um, I don't mean calculated in a bad way, Taurus, but you very much so have had like a game plan from this with the get-go. And so I really uh, enjoy this with you because um, in this dynamic, um, it's like letting me know, uh, Taurus, that, how would we put this? It's like letting me know for you guys that um, this is like controlled chaos almost. Like you and the things are kind of like hectic right now. This is all going to according to your plan here with the High Priestess. So the cards that I got for you were the was the Hermit card, the Empress card, as well as the Wheel of Fortune for you, Taurus. So, hmm. it's interesting because in this dynamic, you're you're very much so just in this place of um, again, whatever this other situation happened that was released that uh, like released like the chains from you. Again, like it feels like one of those situations where some people could perceive the situation towards as like a bad thing that's happened. Um, but for you, it's almost like because of what it represents after the fact that it becomes like a blessing for you. So it's just like, you know what? That's fine. You want to do, you want to be acting, you want to be playing some games, right? That's fine. I'm going, you're, it seems to be Taurus is choosing to take themselves out of the situation once they identify something not being serious or what have you and being like, you know what? I'm going to hermit away and I'm going to focus on mine and grow my things and like, you know, just focusing on your stuff. And so, yeah, it was almost like for a lot of you Tauruses, you were just waiting for a sign, waiting for that green light to switch over into something. And that's when the gears has started turning for you. That's when the ball has started rolling for you. And now you're in this place of um, just being ready. Um, so now we get into your pay well, I don't want to say just being ready, but it's now you're just like, you've like finally made the identifier and be like, all right, this is why, like, this is, this is where I need to go sort of thing. Um, and then again, all mentally, right? Like, it's weird how this is. It seems to be like such a emphasis this week for tourists, just going through some type of mental shift or pers like mental adjustment. Um, through all this, because then we go into your page of air or your page of swords in normal tarot. This card says challenging information, delays or changes to plans, del uh, truth delivered without tact. So once Taurus sees things for how they are, um, no longer really things being up in the air and like sitting on it anymore, this, without question, right? Now there's this place that Taurus really has, no longer has an excuse for continuing doing the same things that they started doing or that they have been doing. This week definitely seems to be the sense of where the ball is being dropped. Um, you're going to be sh shown where everyone else's cards are if there are other parties. Yeah, it just she seems to be like um, all relevant information that you need that you've been waiting for. You so supposedly Taurus is now being revealed to you this week, and now the ball is essentially just being put into your court, being like, "All right, now Taurus, now that you know all this, you know you were saying before that you're waiting for something to happen before you took the dive with something. Now what are you going to do? Right? It's your choice, your call. You prepared for this, though. I definitely see you having already." Um, yeah, it's like, it seems to be like for a lot of you Tauruses, you played the scenario out in your head in every potential way it could be. And now you're just like, all right, this, like, I don't know, maybe this is me just projecting, right? In my just optimistic nature, Taurus, but I can't help but feel like you guys just are a lot more prepared for this than um, most would anticipate. So the clarifiers that we have for you, Taurus, are for that page of air is the eight of pentacles for you with the justice card 
as well as the five of swords so you guys are taking the high road in some situation taurus right i don't want to say you're taking the high road but with the justice card and the five of swords you're like i don't know it's like the sense of um especially with that empress card from before it's like everything's just going according to plan and flowing beautifully for you so it's like with this five of swords you're checked out from some old situation right so i feel like this is kind of like once you see like that this tourist would be your sign right if you're waiting for a sign of being like all right when do i like uh pull the lever this five of swords here is the lever i feel like because something's going to like put you out almost at like a crossroads and challenge you on if you're going to repeat the same habits or the same things that you always have done before Taurus is just something that I'm getting and so with this page of yeah I feel like this is all just one of those things Taurus where once this once this situation happens you're going to be presented being with being like all right like this could potentially be your exit or you could continue doing the same thing that you've always have done and I see you Taurus deciding to take your exit personally that's how i see it as because then we have the sun card coming out for you number nine uh number we went through the numerology already right taurus so this card says a happy outcome this card says brilliant new ideas that lead to success and having confidence in yourself so yeah this is i see this as taurus where it's like the situations happened the situation that you're waiting for to happen right with something that allows you to just have closure in a situation or you're just waiting for a sign to just happen um, in regards to this. Uh, I see this where I can't help but get the sense like once you're, you're waiting for the ball to drop, then once it drops, that's your cue to be like, all right, I'm taking myself out of a situation because I really do see you leaving a situation. I really do see you taking this exit. You may have before repeatedly, I don't want to say repeatedly, you may have before chose to be shown like different signs being like like similar signs and you've before in the past chosen to ride it out and continue on that path i see you now finally just switching things up towards you're ready to welcome in new energy and so with that welcoming of new energy we have that sun card so uh let's see what details we can get with this now i feel like shuffling a couple more uh times for this now towards okay so the clarifiers that we got for that sun card is the nine of swords the chariot card and the seven of wands so your anxiety anxiety start fading away you know that you know for some of you horses you may have started getting in your head about where it is that you're going in life or the, the progression of where it is that you're going of the direction um, I really see this starting to be expelled. Like I, truthfully, Taurus, if this reading was for me, I'll say that I'm identifying this as like some type of, ex you're, this next exit coming up in your path, there, you're going to be tossed like an exit and you know, that exit may be a little bit bumpy because I am not, because it's not all rainbows and sunshines, Taurus. I'm not going to sell you like a um, happy uh, story here all the way through. I'm not going to pretend like you're not going to have some hoops to go through some hurdles, but I know that's something you can easily handle, Taurus. So that's why I have no problem saying it, honey. But um, I see you taking, you know, it's kind of like that saying the road less traveled. I see you taking that road less traveled now that's less traveled by you um and then just things start just feeling a lot lighter for you it seems to be like the attention i don't know if the attention necessarily is what you want taurus but with the seven of wands here with this chariot card i'm very much so seeing this as like like i'm being like i see this as like a racetrack uh like something that most people don't know about me is I actually really like nascar um but i see like a racetrack and like everyone watching you um, race, right? I see you chasing after like your son, right? So it's like everyone's watching your greatness because I see personally, Taurus, I see the chariot as like the Uber service from spirit, right? And so once you identify your path, once you are on your path and on the correct path rather, that is when um, you uh, start going quicker like you find your purpose when you identify your path you go quicker you take that uber service and you go down even quicker and seven of wands just shows to me where it's just like you are taking the lead you know you very much so are 
being a trailblazer in some way, but I kind of see this as like a personal thing. You're doing, you're switching things up and from what you've normally done. And it seems to be like one of those situations, Taurus, that like, um, you're kind of like proud of yourself of like through this like action, like through you being like the bigger person on something. And then, um, I don't know, it's just very interesting overall. Uh, for you, Taurus. So now I'm going to do some quick spreads, Taurus, just for those that are interested in hearing about my insight in terms of uh, love and, rela and relationships, right? So let's see what we have going on for my Tauruses and their relationships. And then afterwards, Taurus, I'm going to be getting into career for those that want to hear a little bit about their career. So, the cards I pulled, Taurus, for your relationship, we have the Ten of Cups, the Temperance card coming in, as well as the Seven of Cups. So, in regards to, like, a situation that I'm seeing this as, Taurus, this is definitely uh, where you're going to be presented options. It doesn't necessarily feel like, Taurus, there's one single one that you, like, a, to be blunt, I don't feel like there's like the one right now that's in your current immediate space um, for you. It feels like there's, you know, this is such a spread of where there's bigger fish in the sea, out there in the sea for you, Taurus. So it's kind of like, look around more. Not to say that the, the, the fish that are around you, that there's something wrong with those fish, but um, these fish definitely... Um, there's definitely, I, there's more so spirits trying to say, it's just like, don't choose, don't settle, right? Don't choose to settle if you don't have to, if you don't feel comfortable um, with what's presented in front of you, because spirits are really trying to say, it's just like, ah, there's actually a little bit more here, right? So let's get a little bit more insight on this, Taurus. <clears throat> All right, so eight of, or not eight of wands, six of wands, seven of wands, and the sun card. So, Taurus, yeah, I see this as, again, you're, there's a lot of eyes on you. This carries over from your general message, Taurus, but there's definitely a lot of eyes on you at this current point. So what I would be saying is, Feel out your options because again even with the sun card reflecting into your love situation from your general as well um all these cards are pointing towards such a situation taurus that you know have patience especially that temperance card like have patience don't be worried don't choose don't don't settle is all i'm going to really say taurus don't make the choice to settle so now I'm going to be getting into my Tauruses uh, in their career. What is their situation with their financial looking like right now before we close out this reading for you? <clears throat> All right, Taurus. So, no, too many cards. I don't want to do that many cards. <laughs> All right, here we go. So for your financial situation, Taurus, we have the King of Air or the King of Swords, the Seven of Water or the Seven of Cups, choices again, and the Renewal card, Archangel Jeromeo. So no matter which way you turn it, no matter which aspect of your life, Taurus, uh, you are in this process of um, having choices being presented in front of you. So I can't help but feel like the same general theme of a message though, Taurus, so where it's just like, um, it's not like, just choose, don't settle if you feel like, if you're not happy with a choice, don't settle because there's so many options. And so this is really honing in on a message for Taurus that, um, you know, maybe asking the question, being like, is this it? Is this all that there is to offer, right? Some of you Tauruses may not want to make them move on something or do anything because it's like, um, or maybe you're choosing to commit to something because you don't know what's going to be like if there's anything if there's going to be anything better coming along but i definitely do see like there's something better coming along for you king of swords seven of swords justice card and the ace of wands yeah if you don't feel good about a situation Taurus, whether it's your relationship or whether it's your career in general like listen to your intuition at this time your intuition is very strong Taurus. so something's not hitting right for you or sitting right with you right now um take that as a sign um it's you're not in your head you're not being crazy you're not over analyzing or over reading a situation um 
take this like really your clarifiers are just being like getting like telling you get out of your head listen to what you're feeling because you're not you're onto something Taurus and so I feel like the biggest mistake that you can do is choosing just to settle for something that doesn't quite feel right to you entirely just because you're unsure if there's going to be something better that comes along for you spoiler alert Taurus there definitely something is so uh yeah Taurus, that is the reading that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Taurus. And then also, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. Till next time though, Taurus, I love you so much.